So right now I'm in Kenya and I'm photographing these amazing migration herds. But last year when I was here, I was fortunate enough to have a very special encounter with Romeo, one of the Mara's most famous lions. And now I'm going to show you how to use the sharpening tool in Lightroom to take your images to the next level. Romeo was a dream to photograph. He screamed detail. Look at the size of the mane, his strong, handsome face, his long white whiskers, that big muzzle of his. But as you can see in this original image, although it's compositionally strong, we are lacking all of those details I was just talking about. Of course, this is a raw image, and the beauty of Lightroom is I can recover all of that detail. Now, by hitting backslash, you are now seeing the most current edit. I've only made some minor adjustments here, mostly to contrast the whites and the blacks and the clarity. And although it has more depth now, it's still wanting for that little bit of extra detail, particularly around Romeo's face. So what I'm gonna do now is navigate to the top right and hit the edit button, or you can just hit E on your keyboard. Then I'm gonna scroll right to the bottom to the details section where I'm gonna do some sharpening. The first thing I want to do is take the slider and drag it right until I get to a point where I'm comfortable with the amount this image is being sharpened by. This is really important because I don't want to overdo it. I need to keep the authenticity of what I saw when I took this photograph. So I get to around 75 and I'm comfortable with that. And then radius. So this is the size of the sharpening area around the edges. And with something like a lion and with a lot of wildlife, there's usually a lot of hair and a lot of detail. So you need to be quite careful with this. My top tip is to click the slider and then hold down Alt on your keyboard. And as you drag it right, you will see the image changing. And I'm comfortable around 1.5. And then down to the detail, the image itself in camera was quite sharp. I don't want to bring out too much more detail, just as I was saying about wanting to keep the authenticity of the image itself. So I'll drag that to the right a bit more, to around there. Again, I can hold down Alt to see what I'm doing. And then the all important masking tool. This will allow us to control exactly what areas are being sharpened. There's absolutely no need within this image for the background to be sharp and we only want Romeo. So again, holding Alt, I will slide right. And the further I go, you'll see that the background begins just to slowly fade out as we begin to focus entirely on Romeo himself. And I'll keep going and that's about perfect. So now that I'm happy with the sharpening, here is a reminder of what the original image looked like before the sharpening which as you can see is quite soft and lacks the detail around Romeo's face. And now the most present with a huge amount of detail on Romeo's face, you're seeing every single sinew of his being. Remember, practice makes perfect. Play around with the sharpening tools and good luck.